All right, guys, how's it going? School of here. Right, so another Kyle Pico heist. Um, this time I'm hitting via the main dock. So I've not done a video on this for a long, long time. So I've covered the north dock approach um, and I've covered the drain tunnel approach. I have covered the vellum approach as well, but not lately. I might do an update on that. So you take this camera out first. Um, this gives you access to that shack there. I've got two coke in there. So that's what I'm going to hit. There's a guard wandering around here just now, so I'm waiting for him to show face so I can take him out. <coughs> um, there's three spawn locations for uniform here. Unfortunately, the spawn location that I have in this particular house is probably the worst spawn location I can get. But there you go. Actually, no, there's four spawn locations. So I'm just heading up right in the building. Pistol whip this guy here. Now, it's a wee bit tricky where my uniforms are. So it's over next to, in the container, sorry, near these cameras and guard tower. So yeah, it's a wee bit awkward. So I'm just waiting for the, the time to be right before I run to the container. So you can find the uniforms in that container. You can find the uniforms behind the shack. I'm about to hit with a coke when I pointed out. First of all, uh, I'll show you that again. And across from where I'm going to pick up my hook, you can pick up a uniform there also. Okay, so now I've changed this and I have a vehicle. I can't see one. <laughs> There's one just over there, but I can't see it. The yeah, hindsight is a great thing. When you're actually doing the highs, sometimes it's hard to find things. So you've got to be wary as well when you're doing this. Um, and this is why I didn't grab the coke first. There's a guy down around the jeep. Uh, and here he comes back again. So if he sees you anywhere near that shack um, without uniform on, then he's a uh, red dot, so straight away you're going to be detected. Uh, there are some guys right down the pier that are white circles, or dots, whatever you want to call it. Um, so obviously they won't be detected when you see you. But the red ones will. So I just realized there's a guard behind this shack. Um, he'll probably be alerted when I start grabbing the coke, so I'm going to piss with him now. And just up behind me here, where he walked from, that's where another location is for the uniforms. And that's. The ideal location, to be honest with you, we're going to hit it via the main dock, like so. Yeah, the the uniform right behind this shack would be ideal. Instead of having to work your way across the rest of the pier there. So I'm grabbing the two coke. So obviously the coke, when you do a solo, is the best secondary target. Right, so now all I need is a hook. I'm heading for that now. So yeah, over the period of time I've been doing this heist, uh, the updates have changed the layout of some of the guards and how responsive they are. So. That is why I'm really looking at some of these approaches. To get these guards like so. And all the time these two are facing each other. And then it hooks up here. 
again, you know, it depends what everything is when you're doing the heist. If you do a solo, then it's better to check all your options, whereas if you're doing it with a team of use, um, you just go to the campaign and kind of clear it out. Hopefully you got like three or four gold at least. Um, sometimes five gold even. And then it doesn't matter how many you have. You have, you know, get gold, so it's fine. Pretty much. Um, but if you do a solo, you want to look for the, the coke locations. So you have to do a wee bit of digging. So you have to do a wee bit of uh, going around scoping the, the north dock. The main dock, um, even up the airport and stuff, and that way you're gonna get the most out of the heist, the maximum pay you can get. So I head to the compound now. So I'm saying uniforms now. I've got the hood now. It's all set, and I will not be detected because um, I've got the uniform on. So again, I mentioned before, there's another location on the exact opposite side of the compound. You can go over the wall there also. Alright, so now again, two guys facing each other. I'm just pissing with them. Takes a wee bit of practice, but it's not... It's not hard, even doing two, it's not hard. Just get their angles right, you're walking up towards them. So you can hit them both, one after another. Right, so I'm just taking the guards out, so at this point it's important to try and find the gate key, which I found straight away, so that's fine. But that's what you're looking for, ideally. It's usually with one of the main Rubio's guards, the guys with the Got like a red light shining off them. Yeah, I need to start hacking their backs. <laughs> I have to pull out of this one. Alright, so yeah, I'm just hitting the, the wall safe just to make the, the maximum amount out of the house. Now head back down, and the juggernaut shouldn't be too close yet, so it'll give you time to jump over and over again, and into the basement where the secondary targets are. Sorry, the the main target is. The secondary targets would be if there was two years, but not in this case. So this isn't hard, so it's two hacks. Again, this this hack's not hard to be honest. Sometimes you get slightly wrong and you can't tell what you, what you've done wrong. Uh, so yeah, that can be a wee bit annoying. But apart from that, it's a lot more easier than the casino heist. I mean, I can do both of them pretty easily. I'm so used to them now. But there's a lot of people I know that can do this heist. Sorry, this hack for this heist here, but they can't do the hack for the casino. Because it's a far harder hack. Alright, so tequila again, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, so at this point I'm just about to grab the tequila and I've got it like so. So I've already grabbed the two secondary targets, which were the coke. So my bag was already full before I came in. There's obviously space for the secondary targets. Uh, 
for the main target, sorry. There's always space for that. So I've grabbed that now as well. I haven't bothered with the Juggernaut because I'm doing it solo. So I don't need to wander around the compound so much, so I just don't bother him. Take this guy out. And then just leave. And that's the house done. As easy as that. So I'm just showing you this way, guys, just to consider another way. Because I know I've done quite a few heists with a lot of people. And, um, yeah, everyone just uses a drain tunnel. If not, they use a the bedroom approach. And <coughs> I get it. They're the two easiest ways of doing it. But remember and consider you've got the main dog and the north dog you can also hit. And it keeps the heist fresh, you know, it keeps the heist different and interesting rather than just do it the same way every time. And the more you know about this heist, the easier it will become. So that's all I can emphasize to you guys, man, you know, just keep doing it different ways as much as you can, so then you learn more and more on how to do it. And ultimately, you're going to earn a lot of money doing this heist. Okay guys, so if you haven't done so already, please, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, again, I probably add content on a weekly basis. Um, I only add content that I believe is going to help you guys. I don't put stuff up for a second. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and this is us just swimming away now. You can see the wee bottom left go into the darkness and that's when the house kind of finishes. And we'll take a wee look at how much we've made and whether we've got a lead or not. I think it's a lead. One point four million with the lead on top of that, one point five two million. Eleven minutes twenty-nine, so yeah, nice and quick. Right guys, again, thanks very much for checking out the video. I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.